Hi guys! Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today, we are going to talk about one of the requested topic of one of our viewers. Uh, this is entitled, What is more effective, organic fungicide versus chemical-based fungicide? Also, uh, this includes organic pesticide versus chemical-based pesticide. Okay, so we have four categories. This is the organic. Or the organic approach this uh, number two is the chemical based approach number three is the alternative or the ones that uses both chemical and organic and then number four is the non-user okay so in order to fill that category we have asked some of our uh, expert in taking care of succulents uh, they have this kinds of experience that we don't have uh, so, we asked their opinions about this topic or this matter. Supposedly, we are going to ask them personally by going to their, to their nurseries if it is closed. But, uh, unfortunately, we can't do that because of this pandemic. Let's take a look at the reasons why they chose uh, organic fungicide, pesticide, and insecticide. Number one reason... She uses organic because chemicals are harmful to pollinators. This is said by mom Cindy Davidson. She is the owner of the Succulent Perch. And she posts a lot of ideas about the succulent arrangement. And you can learn a lot about color variations that is good to see uh, when creating a succulent arrangement. So if you are into succulent arrangement, uh, you might want to visit her Facebook page. According to her, organic are safe to the pollinators. What are the examples of the pollinators? We have the bees, like that. The pollinators of our flowers. Number two, we have here Mom Yvonne Leia Jane Aide. She collects succulent and she really has this beautiful uh, succulents. So, she says that she tried to use chemical-based approach and he had experienced dizziness, lightheaded, and nausea. That's why she switched to organic and is planning to use neem oil. So, uh, I did a video about neem oil uh, lately. I'll put the link below if you want to know what neem oil is and what does uh, it do to your uh, succulents. So if you might want to visit that one. So, uh, it is true that when you use um, these chemicals... Me, myself, I, I've experienced it. We, you will experience dizziness, uh, nausea, and sometimes you will be experiencing uh, vomiting. We have here Mom Kat McCarthy. She has a informative blog. It is uh, entitled thesucculentelectric.com. And uh, she owns a page on Facebook, the Succulent Perch Community. Okay, so if you want to learn more about succulents and you want to see other posts about succulents, uh, you might want to go to that page, the Succulent Perch Community, and be involved with the activities that is going out there. Uh, one activity is going, uh, going, uh, going on right now. This is the uploading of the... Um, photo of your Echeveria succulent and you may win some prizes. Uh, her vlog is very informative also and very detailed that will help on the on your succulent journey. Moving on to the topic, uh, she says that using chemical approach can kill the beneficial insects causing the harmful pests to grow even more faster. One example of the beneficial insects is the ladybug that naturally eats aphids. That is uh, the three reasons why you should use organic uh, fungicide according to three different persons. Let's move on to those that use a chemical-based approach. We have here Mom Dali Rakalwong. She owns a shop where you can buy Masetera products. You can visit her Facebook page, The Rooftop Garden Bliss. 
and she also has a wide collections of beautiful Korean and local succulents. Okay, she said that uh, chemicals are fast and effective because they have a broad spectrum in terms of killing insects. And she also says that one should be very careful on using it because of the chemical or the harmful chemical content. Reason number two for chemical-based approach. Organic has a limited spectrum wherein it targets only a certain kind of pests and diseases. Also, it works differently than a chemical because its effect can be pathogenic instead of poison. This is said by uh, Mr. Dansoy Villarde. What does he mean by pathogenic? Uh, this is the ability of organic pesticide, fungicide, and insecticide to do pathogenesis. What is pathogenesis? This is to offer an opportunity for the bugs, fungi, insects, or pests to develop resistance to organic approach. Uh, they do not die. Instead, sometimes they mutate in order to survive the content that you sprayed. Okay, so that's pathogenesis. Moving on to number 4, we have here Ma'am Marcel Takio, a collector. She says that she uses chemical-based approach in her garden, especially on her vegetables because according to her, it is conventional. But she also stressed that she does not use any chemical on her cut flower garden because they are sensitive enough to burn. Number five, we have here an account from Sir Jello. And by the way, he has a vlog that is really helpful in taking good care of our succulents and cacti. So you might want to visit him on his YouTube account or YouTube channel, Jello Sanctuary. And sometimes he also goes live on Facebook, collaborating with uh, many of the experts and extracting some of the informations that is useful to any or every plantitos and plantitas out there. Anyway, back to the topic. Uh, he said that he chooses chemical in terms of efficacy because chemical-based insecticides and pesticides are carefully formulated to deter or fight pests. However, this comes with a huge warning to make sure you use proper PPE equipment as recommended okay so his he stressed that proper attire should be worn for example gloves eye protection mask and uh, long sleeves to make sure we are protected moving on to the third category which those that uses both chemical and organic approach we have here Ma'am Wardilen Cosme, a collector, seller, and an owner of uh, the Succulent Palace, wherein she sells wide varieties of echeverias and other hard-grown succulents. Okay, she says that uh, she uses green-labeled pesticides and if it doesn't work or it is not effective, she'll switch to chemical-based pesticide. The reason she does this is to avoid the pest to be immune with the uh, chemical that you are uh, spraying. Okay, so she also says that if you use chemical-based approach every time, there are chances that those pests, insects, and fungi will be immune by uh, the pesticide and will not be killed by them anymore, by the ones that you sprayed. Okay, so switching from chemical to organic and vice versa will help. Uh, this is to uh, limit also the chances that you will be exposed with harsh chemicals. Because you are not using chemicals every time you switch. Okay, every time you uh, see that uh, so one of them is not effective anymore. Okay, so number two, we have here Ma'am M. Tanag, the owner of uh, M. Succulents. She, she says that she tries organic first and then uh, switch to chemical if it doesn't uh, address the problem. And she also says that she wants to avoid killing 
the uh, beneficial insects na sinabi natin kanina. Uh, what are the examples again? Ladybug that eats aphids and then uh, most importantly yung mga pollinators natin na bees. Okay? Finally, the last one which is the non-user. One of the people that I have messaged answered that he does not use any of this on his garden. So, you might have usually seen him posting some beautiful cacti and succulents on some pages on Facebook. And it is usually accompanied by a beautiful, creative, interesting pot, which I love to view. <laughs> and so... Uh, he is Sir Keith Kitoy, and he says that he does not use any of those products. These are some of the suggested products that are repeatedly mentioned on their text messages. We'll go first with organic. We have the neem oil. Okay, so if you want to know more about neem oil, I have done a video of it lately. And if you want to watch that, you want to gain information from it, and you want to know what can neem oil do to your succulents, you can watch it. With that given, we will move on to chemical-based approach. So it is divided into two. We have the systemic and contact. What are the difference of the two? Systemic is those that are required to be absorbed by the plant or by your succulents before it can be effective. Okay, it is absorbed by the plant going up to the uh, leaves. And the contact, on the other hand, is uh, not absorbed by the plant. Rather, it only affects the outside uh, part of your plant. Okay, the, uh, that is the difference of systemic and contact fungicide okay so some of the systemic uh examples we have here star starkle g furadan benomil you can add uh, masitera neem gold that can be also and the examples of contact we have here dethane seven and other wide spectrum na mga pang spray ng ating mga succulents and other plants. As for our summary, there are three people who chose organic approach, five for chemical, two for alternative, and one for non-user. These are the summary of the text messages that I have received from our experts basing on their opinions and also their experiences. We have here the benefits and weaknesses of organic versus chemical-based approach. We'll head on with organic. Uh, let's take a look at the benefits. Number one, it is not harmful to one's health. But keep in mind that even though it is said that it is 100% organic, please do wear your protective gears whenever you want to spray. Number two, we have here it does not kill the beneficial bugs or insects like the ladybug that naturally aids aphids, mites, etc. And lastly, it does not kill the pollinators like for example the bees. Okay, yun nga lang ang weaknesses ng ating organic is it is not wide spectrum, meaning it targets only a certain kind of insects, pests, and fungi. Okay, so let's move on with chemical based. We have here the benefits. Number one, it targets a broad kind of insects, fungi, and pests because it is wide spectrum and has a more effective and fast result. Ang weakness naman ng ating chemical approach is it is harmful to one's health to the extent that you will feel dizziness, nausea, headache, and uh, sometimes vomiting. You have to use the proper attire for this one. What are the proper attire? We have said that to kanina that you have to use masks, protective for the eye, uh, gloves and also long sleeves and the next weakness is it kills the beneficial bugs and lastly it harms the nature 
The reason that I have conducted this survey is to let you know or for you to be aware for the pros and cons of organic versus chemical-based approach. So whatever you chose, uh, we have presented the weakness and the benefits of each two. So you have to choose with those two or you can do both. Okay, so I just want you to be fully aware of the uh, results that uh, you should expect when you are using chemical or organic approach. I want to thank these following people who had contributed a lot on this video by sharing their thoughts, knowledge, and experiences about this matter. Miss Cindy Davidson of the Succulent Perch, Yvonne Leia Jane Aide, Kat McCarthy of the Succulent Electric, Dali Rakalwang, of the Rooftop Garden Bliss, Dan Soy Villarde of Hardineros Nursery, Hannah Chave Calixto of Madison and Melbourne's Cactolendia, M. Tanag of M. Succulents, Wardilen Cosme of the Succulent Palace, Sir Keith Kitoy of the Pottery by Kitoy, Sir Jello of Jello Sanctuary, and Mam Marcel Takio. Okay, so thank you, thank you for answering my question even though you are busy. And I know some of the uh, person that I asked it is also a seller. So I am very thankful that they have answered even with uh, the little time that they have for themselves. Shout out to Sir Raymond Arisgado. For requesting this topic, I hope I have answered some of your questions, maybe not all, but I hope it settled the problem. And uh, shout out then kay Sir Ralph Garcia and uh, thank you, thank you for those who are watching and for those who subscribed and subscribe pa lang to my channel. So, thank you, thank you everyone. Have a great day. I hope I have explained well. And if you do have some questions that you want to settle, please uh, comment down below for me to know what to uh, say. Or maybe I can reply to you. Because I read comments, guys. So, <laughs> okay. Uh, thank you, thank you. Have a great day, everyone. Photograph in which we were in love, caught in your eyes, waiting for the sunrise. I barely even knew who you were. What did you do? I didn't care, cause you were perfect, I swear. But somebody told me that it's all.